We have to big up our sponsors, Itopia Life Herb House, where cannabis and culture combine for a one of a kind experience. Visit them at 10A West Kings House Road, just across from the Canadian Embassy. Also follow them on IG at Itopia Life or their webpage at itopialife.com for the latest info on strains mm-hmm. and merch. We nearly mispronounced the word this there. <laughs> well, so I have to welcome back and big up Lulu's Holistics. Remember, you can always use our code in the description of every video that we post to get a 10% <laughs> discount. We're work on, yeah, we're back to doing we're this back, job. We're, we're back, back at this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out Lulu's Holistics. And we have to big up our Patreon. Patreon, DB, big up yourself. Mm-hmm. And also, that's up, man. Fix merch. <laughs> All right. You can go to our merch store. And go cut the black tea with the white logo, the blue tea with the faded logo, the fix mask and the fix mug, as well as our brand new fix things merch up on the site right now, which you see Javi rocking right there. So the premium fix things pull over. So feel nice and comfy though. Just feel that fixy goodness all over your body. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's not take this stuff. <laughs> so the site, teespring.com. Slash. Stars. Slash. The Fix JA. To have joined us here in the building, none other than tastemaker, producer, <laughs> artist manager? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not no. in 2020, no? Mm, no. No. Definitely not. DJ. Mm-hmm. Corona survivor? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that did keep. No. no. Kurt Riley in the building. Kurt Riley in the building. Can get some fake applause effects. Yay. There we go. There we go. Give thanks that Kurt is here joining us. You gave us a scare there, but I'm not telling a lie. You did. Yeah, right now? I'm um, not 100, but you know, we're getting there. You quit playing around and, you know, giving people scares and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say I hope it don't happen. I don't I don't want it to happen again. We don't want it to happen and again. No. I really want nobody to go through when me go through. Oh. Well, in terms like, of what happened. So how has the recovery been? Um, you know, one day at a time. Mm. Mm. Can't complain. Um, my family is really around me. They're making sure that I'm eating properly and, and follow um the protocol that the hospital gave me. Mm. Mm. And then because I lost all muscle mass mm-hmm. i lost all muscle mass i was like down to like 115. Wow. Mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so you know to be doing physiotherapy so certain things i couldn't do for myself so um that they, they had to employ a nurse to stay with me at mm-hmm. night at home to make sure some all right so mm-hmm. is it that you just lost appetite you didn't feel like you wanted it's to a, eat it's a whole heap of things you know mm-hmm. it was it was the abuse of alcohol during my birthday. It was the 28th of July. And I just decided, based on what is happening, you know, to find some secluded place to go and chill. Mm-hmm. But I was drinking like crazy. No. <laughs> Straight VSOP and XO. Oh, yeah. And then Turn up. halfway in at the par because of going from location to location, hotel to hotel, mm-hmm. um, villas to villas. And I mean, I got villas. Like, we get villa. Yeah. You understand <laughs> what I mean? And I'm just there thinking I'm just having a good time. Mm-hmm. The, word I, the word I use, thinking. Mm-hmm. And I think the last part was we're on the road and then Chris Gale and Tonto Blocks so end up in the par. Um, Biggs and Kamar and we did it at, at um, St. Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. Love was lit. I was all a vibe. I eat food, we drink, and then the owner of us. Treasure Beach came over, more vibe, and him gave us some villa for stay over. And I was supposed to go try them the next day. Mm. Oh. And when them said I'm going to go Pelican Bar, I'm like, nah, <laughs> I have to go back home. I want to go back home because try them arrangement. You understand mm-hmm. what I mean? So I definitely never feel good. Mm-hmm. Like the feeling, how I felt then yeah. was. The day when I went into the hospital, oh, it feels so much. Mm. Right. I'm exhausted. Mm-hmm. And I said, I can't do this. I'm going to tell him, I'm going forward next week. And I'm going to say, all right, cool. Move the arrangement, bam. 
go home, whatever, chill, trident, <laughs> straight exo, and just enjoying myself in my own personal space. Mm-hmm. Have you been on any sort of drinking binge like that before? Surely you have. I mean, I drink. you drink when you work because you say you want to feel a vibe. But, yeah. right. but nothing like that. Mm. Because I was drinking. It's like I'm consuming the highest grade of product mm-hmm. with no chaser. Oh. So like wow. prior to all these people know that I'm a, a, I'll drink Remy. Mm-hmm. You understand? And I'm yeah. drinking that straight. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can drink a bottle of Remy. Mm-hmm. Can't see my bottle of Remy, but other products like lower grade than that, yeah. I cannot do it. Oh. See? Mm-hmm. Give me a bottle of Blue, a Blue Swift Martel. Give me a give me a, um, a VSOP Hennessy or, or the XOs. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was going, Martin and Lime, for some strange reason, <laughs> I was going real hard. And to add to that, I, got, I had stuff in my head, made I got through some things. Mm-hmm. And it yeah, was hidden. Mm. It was hidden, but you know, you know, recognize so you didn't have fun. Well, you think you're having fun. Mm. Mm. So back from Trident, back home, think I ate some food. Mm-hmm. Four days vomiting on toilet. Mm-hmm. Oui. Well, a four day. Yeah, man. No mm-hmm. ease up, mm-hmm. no break. And as that done, rain wet me up. Oh, yeah. So you know that COVID. Yeah. So called COVID symptoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though COVID wasn't here 30 years ago, but I still COVID, COVID symptoms. symptoms. So I have that now, it's COVID yeah, symptoms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. Dog bite in the hospital? COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> so um I was installing a camera system at home. Mm. And then the guy in the Zaga said to me, say, yo, you know, say so you need to get checked out. I like how you're sounding. You know? mm-hmm. mm. So I said, no, nah, man, a simple thing this, man. Pharmacy. Benjamin Relief. This, that, that. Mm-hmm. So that you, you that talk with like a, a sort of horse truth? I don't even know. I'm just saying, I like how I sound. So I'm just mm. going to let them think that. Then I feel like my neighbor who is a doctor work at Boston Monte Hospital. Mm-hmm. Doctor Loon, I asked him to say, yo, you know more and two things and blah, blah, blah. So he come and he look at me and say, all right, we're going to in business. Um, brother, I had the same feeling that I had when I left Treasure Beach and I said, my Kianga Trident is the same feeling you get when you when you'll do a proper Edem festival and you consume a whole heap of vodka. Mm. So what will happen is that um they would give you an IV. Oh. Yeah man, just pick up an IV and mm-hmm. put it you. You go sleep, boom, you come back, you're ready again. Yeah. Three days worth of drinking again. Yeah. Uh, wait, yeah. them that thing go on an EDM can say. Moving on. So <laughs> So what I say is this now, so so for some strange reason, for some strange reason, mm-hmm. I just tell myself I felt dehydrated. Mm. So I call him. I say, "Yo, you can't carry me to the hospital. Mm-hmm. I feel dehydrated." So he was going to work because he works at Postamante, and for, and them just turned back. So I'm say, "All right, I'm gonna carry me." So I'm like, "My upstairs and I call up my name and yo, I just feel lethargic mm-hmm. because by this time, you know, all of this time, you know." I cannot consume anything, you know. Yeah. Mm. Anything I'm eating coming right back no. up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come to the grill and look for me. It's like the man's eyes just change. Mm. Mm-hmm. Endorsing unto me, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I scare you. I don't even know I scare you. I mean, I talk to him eventually after that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, me, you know, things I'm going to spend two days in the hospital. Get the IV because I'm there. I don't go back on my yard. Me never know. Say the man that booked me in the hotel. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so thing say, yeah, front thing desk. Is... <laughs> front desk. Kurt Riley put in my penthouse. Mm. Don't make him come out. I never know. He was calling them. You and him and the people that he know to admit me. Mm. Because when I spoke to him after, he said I thought I had liver poisoning. Oh. And he looked in my eyes. Yeah. So and I could tell from the look in your eyes mm-hmm. that yeah. that's that's what he saw. That's mm-hmm. what he thought. So um, where did the, the the corona 
COVID rumors start from? I don't know. But we're not going to jump the gun, daddy. Okay. There is a missing block of memory in my mind. Mm. I don't remember nothing about ICU. Mm-hmm. I don't remember being on a ventilator. Oh. Mm-hmm. But I look in my phone and I got back my phone, it was working. I see at least six photos, selfies of me taking pictures with the ventilator and I don't remember taking them. Wow. Oh. So it's like the part of the juggling miss me. Last. <laughs> and it's like sometime at night, my child remember I get up on this a cry at night time. Oh. Mm-hmm. It was more confusing than scary. So I think they took me out of ICU because as I was telling you earlier, my hands them just coming back, getting back color. Mm. Mm-hmm. What like, color were they? What were they before? Before I yeah. was black. Yeah, blacker than I no black like what we're wearing? Black. Yeah, okay. Oh really? Yeah, my, mm. my skin was, was that color. Mm-hmm. Um and because at this time of the year when you're in the hospital up there is the interns so they have to learn how to find vein and mm-hmm. take blood. Mm-hmm. So remember which, what I said? That's what I hate about you. Intern, find, find vein, vein, take blood. Take blood. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. Mm. Them deal with me wicked up there. Mm. We prefer mosquito from Portmore. Yeah. <laughs> but they had to learn, and the uh, only way they're going to learn is to try and find it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they will try four times yes. and five times. And I say, no, Kurt Riley doing great. I say, no, you just want my blood. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Oh my God. And this has been going on. This is every day. Mm. Until my hand black and blue. Mm-mm. I mean, no, I think I'm, my, my veins, them have fright at nights because sometimes they just jump up and just start hurting me. Mm. Like, mm. Them don't want to get stick no more. Yeah. You understand? We're talking mm. about wires. I made a comment that them stream me up like BSA, they say. Yeah. In the market night. I'm serious. Mm. Mm. Wires are tubes all over the place and needles and butterflies and, and ray. Mm-hmm. Is your first time being admitted to the hospital? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then this is going on. They, t- they took me out of ICU. So here I am. I think I was on Ward 8. I think I don't really remember. And then I ended up on Annex Ward. And this is where it got really crazy, you know, because time was going backwards. But because they were trying to save my life, mm-hmm. they must give me some, some, some serious medication. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have to big up, I have to say enough respect to Dr. Carl Bruce. Mm-hmm. Um, Dr. Carl Bruce stepped in for me. And up until now, I don't, I can't get to tell him thanks because I'm a very busy person. Yeah. Yeah. But this man, manly wise, it's, 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 if I never him, me no know, but I don't know how to say it. Mm-hmm. You understand? But this man, on behalf of, I was introduced to him to Nigel staff. Mm-hmm. Big up, and the man just bat for Kurt, like the man just can't say no. Nah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know exactly what him do, but he make him, him, him make two call, and he make things happen, and him follow up and check up on me, and I don't know where him is. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Well, I see this. I'm mm-hmm. just, my father just write us, so I just tell him thanks. You understand? Mm-hmm. If you, if if you see this, call Bruce. You don't know, big up yourself. I still won't get a chance to talk to you on the phone, right? And then all of this is going on, time going backwards. So I am hearing when I ask the nurse what time it is, she tell me say it is 12 a.m. And I look through the window and place bright. Mm. And I'm like, what is period of talk going, brother? I may I lose my mind. Um so they even know if I she had tell you the wrong time, brother, or if I you set, I interpret the time. I right. had to ask somebody <laughs> yeah. to remind me who Kurt Riley is because I had no idea who Kurt Riley was or what him used to do. Wow! I felt I was in there sick on somebody's behalf, mm-hmm. brother. For the two and whatever weeks you're you're, you're there, I mean the, the the most critical parts of it, me can't move. Yeah, mm. I'm on my back, so I'm just deteriorating, deteriorating, mm. deteriorating, deteriorating. Did it feel longer than than two weeks? Not yeah, really. Mm-hmm. Because by that time, people start to come around and recognize that a family. And then now, um, what, what, what woke me up mentally 
was when was when um somebody come to me and say, "Yo, you're lucky, you know. You're not supposed to die, you know." Whoa. Mm-hmm. Who said so, that? So I said, <laughs> "Why would you say?" Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> like. What well, cause a bad but you don't know me. I said, what, what, what you just said to me? What you mean? Yeah. And the man said to me, say, where I was, people don't come back from this. Uh, oh. You go there, go dead. Mm-hmm. And that the man, I t- but the man, I said, like, mm-hmm. no return. Mm-hmm. Coming out the line, when we heard, when, when we is, heard what was happening to you, we're like, mm. no, I said, fear, fear the worst, but it's like, you almost reached up and I said, eh. Don't sound good at all. Yo, I'm mm-hmm. going to tell you this. Nobody is humanly possible. Nobody is humanly powerful to to um yeah. To take your own self from mm. this. Mm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's three components save Kurt Riley life. Mm-hmm. Separate and apart from the medication, the how the doctors deal with me and the nurse them deal with me and make sure something everything on time and mm. give me the the something in the drip and separate and apart from that because that is important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God Himself. Mm-hmm. Friends and family who pray for me and ball for me, mm-hmm. including strangers that I don't know. Mm-hmm. And you have another set of people called prayer warriors. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Trust me, I know right? Yeah, man. You see them three combinations there? Eh? Mm-hmm. And them. Bring my back. Mm-hmm. I've been to the brink myself. Remember having a eye tumor when I was about uh, 13, 14. Mm-hmm. And it bad. It bad t- 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 till I wish for that. I say, oh, God just take me now because I can't take that pain anymore. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? The day I did supposed to admit in the hospital, gone. I know them can't tell me what happened. Yeah. Isn't it? But we just put it down to the prior warrior, them did around me. Mm-hmm. Mother. Big up my other mother blew me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> prayer at the church. church. Them yeah, man. Serious, man. And when I'm going in there. Doctors mm-hmm. could not could not tell me why it went away. At the day I did suppose to admit to the hospital and they're gonna operate for try to remove it. Yeah man. Prayer warriors them man. No, mm. no take them simple. Cause yeah. when they go up on them knee mm-hmm. and start to weep to the boss. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna tell people that don't don't mess with God pick me, mm-hmm. eh? don't mess mm-hmm. with me. Got them people that were like us. So, so when he told me that, that's when my brain started to work. Mm. So while all of this is going on, I'm checking my blood pressure every day, taking blood every day, and all of these things. And then by that time, I think I got I got my phone back, mm. and I just got a phone call. Um, is this Mr. Riley? I said yes. We're calling from the hospital. We like to apologize. You never have COVID. <laughs> no. Boo. You don't have COVID. What? Um, we'd like to apologize for that. Jeez, um, peace. And I mean, no extra gravy. It just dries up. Yeah. It just dry. So, so white rice. Not yeah. even salt upon it. You know who start by, right? And I'm saying, the lady said, you know what you do to somebody's psyche? Yeah. Exactly. When you do that, mm-hmm. and all you're going to tell me says that you... you you apologize mm-hmm. like seriously for mm. everybody do you understand what i mean? gave you a covid test mm. yeah man them juke out my nose how much time mm. and then want my family to get tested as well mm. and then you come and apologize that's all like, like oh my and this was after the two weeks this was passed. i think it was like during okay like during oh. <laughs> so i'll show you something now <laughs> mm. I never bad mind nobody yet. I try my best to, as I'm telling you earlier, I listen to everybody. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I respect everybody. Like, I'll be one of the DJs that in an event and I was sure respect to the bartender. 
because I know bartenders that get pneumonia because I have to put them hand in the ice mm. to serve some ungrateful people. Mm-hmm. And then I get and then I get a little bit of money for I've seen it. I see a party and I see that's where mm. you, you understand operate. what I mean? Yeah. So I'm a show respect to everybody. Mm-hmm. So me knowing at the bed, can't move. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm mean, not say can't move, but wheelchair or whatever. Mm. And I'm hearing a man having a shower, a patient having a shower. And the man I enjoy himself and I tell us that jealousy go out on my heart. Mm. I'm a I lied to the nurses. Mm. And tell him some why he was about you. <laughs> <laughs> and came with a wheelchair and you know my clothes and thing and I can manage, so I'm gonna try. And I ended up in the bath. Come tell us I ready to go in and bath and stand up. All I want to do was to turn on the bike. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I am telling you, that moment as God as my witness, it was the sweetest feeling I've ever felt in my life. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just to have the water running on my body mm-hmm. and I take my own hand and go so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. I can't even tell you for you to understand how sweet it feels nothing <laughs> that i've ever done in my life feels sweet so mm. nothing so everything just get back take with. a shower under your own powers mm-hmm. no help just yeah. you know what that mean <laughs> Do your own thing it made me realize that i basically not only me but most of us here really waste our time mm. and mm. think what we're doing is important mm-hmm. And until the day come when you realize that all of that don't matter because you cannot be at yourself. Right. Mm. Mm-hmm. You gotta realize how important it, it is. Make you really appreciate mm-hmm. some of the things that will make a big fuss over it and over. It don't make life. no sense. It make no sense. You understand? And even I mean? the licklesser things are being able, just being able to be at yourself. Mm-hmm. Brother, I it's just breathe. It's a blessing, it's a blessing well, in and of itself. Mm-hmm. Me just start being myself a week ago and meet the woman at that. Yeah. That much I tell you. Mm-hmm. At that, me I try to tell you, know, brother. Mm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. This thing called life, me realize that I took it for granted. Mm. Nuff I would take it for granted. True. Mm-hmm. When me sit down and pray, I'm look on the world at large and let us say entertain me because that's the world I'm in. We take it for granted. We we'll run down the wrong things. Mm. Mm-hmm. We we'll praise the wrong things. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. What 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 sense it make? What 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 sense it make to 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 for arguments here? Kill up yourself for buy my forty million dollars. Mm. What the banker go on? <laughs> and and day. if you dead, mm-hmm. the banker go take it, shoot it back into the system. Mm. And somebody else go buy it. Yeah. It now I agree with you, you know? <laughs> So why you can't stick with a nice two bedroom and just go and build? But priorities in our life wrong, man. Wrong, mm. I messed up. But priorities in our life wrong. And until anybody reach where me reach and is able to come back, you know, I, brother, you it know, just sad say take them thing out for, for sure people these things and even yourself and, and humble us in a way in, in right? a way because I, I i believe it's the same incident that happened with me that is like probably there was an attitude shift you know that there's there's other events in my life we can point towards and say oh yeah mm-hmm. make me start pre things a different way but even like that near that situation for me at least the, the situation where i pray for them mm-hmm. i say oh certain things we don't complain about yeah certain things we can't have a broader perspective and say, yo, in a sense, mm-hmm. football, yeah. uh, 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 complain about certain things. Because it, 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 is, it is not easy to reach a point where you feel like you want to give up because mm. that is, 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 is a very, it's a very low place to be, yeah. sp- even emotionally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I can tell you, my father died up a year away. Oh. He give up. That's true, remember, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. Man, big hole in the back of made bullet fragments all over the match I save him. Yeah. I mean, my father is a road man. I know that the man is a fighter. I know that I give up him, give up. Mm. And then me remember that. During the time that you were there. Yeah, the past year, come man. to me. Wow. And then now, 
Sean Paul sell me a send me a song named Give Thanks. Mm. It was more a video montage. And yo, man called me and messaged me like crazy. Mm-hmm. I believe that probably then, was the same day we spoke to him because him, him nearly yeah. never for the day because he feel. Oh, is he most supposed to the interview with? Yes, him tell yeah, him, him tell him tell him say man most never him 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 him, him couldn't him, him supposed to do interview. He meds, he mm-hmm. meds did frig up, Kurt. God yeah. no, he meds did frig up. He mm-hmm. almost never fired. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a song that me and Chevron was working on before all of this. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with the chef and just add a band and say, yo, Kurt, maybe we just finish the song. Maybe we could just finish the song. Even if the song not released, maybe we could just finish the song because the song is not for we. <laughs> so, all right, I will finish the song. Me ended up on the hospital bed, brother, and the man sent me back the song. And <sighs> when me hear the song, I couldn't do nothing but cry. Mm. <laughs> Me mean cry, me mean cry. Mm-hmm. Man, a pre-chorus that song said, life is a treasure no man can measure. Life's going to get better. Free up. Wake up and live. Man mm-hmm. said, get up and live. That the song I said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is when I started, that is when I started to get up out of that bed mm-hmm. and walk. Yeah. As in, try to walk. Try mm-hmm. to stand up. Mm-hmm. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll get up out of the bed and i sit in the chair. I sit in the chair for 30 minutes and mm-hmm. then come back on the bed. Right. Mm-hmm. Then I'll go and try it for an hour. Mm-hmm. You understand? And then somebody will come and do physiotherapy. physiotherapy. Mm-hmm. Kurt, try stand up. Mm-hmm. And I will stand up. And say, move your foot, move your foot. Do this with your hand. Do that, 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 that. Yeah, man. That song there. Powerful. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it. Literally it, move you. Mm. <laughs> Tell me, right. how, how you felt when you saw the support from the World Music Fraternity? Because it was great. I was amazed mm. mm-hmm. and you know sometimes sometimes they don't know who really check for you and, and, and who love you, you know mm-hmm. and some of the people who reached out to me it was it was surprising mm-hmm. and who and who were able to 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 make them way to even pass security whether it's by legitimate protocol or just by face mm-hmm. and or by physical shame and everything <laughs> yeah but <laughs> Everybody who 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 come look for me and gave blood and it was it was me never me never see it coming. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm have mad love for I mad I for just tell them thanks in a my own way. So mm-hmm. like the only way I could have do it was I was just writing one night and I was talking to my daughter and she said, Daddy just post it one after the other as in like like three part story. Mm. And I, I, I put it out on my IG for just tell everybody thanks, brother. Because being in a place of darkness, confused, slightly scared, you don't know, you feel like you're dead, you're not sure. Mm. But then again, you want to come out, you lose your mind, you mm. hallucinate, mm-hmm. everything in our one. Mm-hmm. You just imagine. And talk about your daughters now. Because mm-hmm. the, the strength that they mind. showed publicly, <laughs> Yo. I, I, I rate all them deal with it. Because Yo. we don't know if you see this, but even some people like did that cuss, wouldn't say maybe cuss them per se, but like people who did that disseminate the news about you being in intensive care. And I say, what happened? Because I wanted to know. Right. There's more of a feeling of, you know, I say something I'm doing, but now I tell you exactly what. Why want know? Why not tell me? Mm-hmm. Did, did you see that? Yeah, man. Mm. They handle it. They handle it quite well because to be fair, I've always been a private person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you know me from long time, I've never posted anything about my children because that is personal. Yeah. Mm. They have not nothing to do with music. Mm. But I just thought it was when I made a post about them, I just thought it was fitting. Yeah. Because I made a phone call, or I think I made somebody make a phone call on me for me. Call my daughter, eight seven six rate rate rate. She named Brittany. Tell her I'm in the hospital. Call this person, bam bam bam. Line up my estate. Boom. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now when you hear somebody say line up estate, you know what I mean, though, right? Dead business. You know, just mm. want to <laughs> yeah, in a real life. Mm-mm. But no, Daniel and Brittany handled it like a champion. I heard yeah. that they cried. Mm. I don't know how many of them shed some tears. 
And you know, them have their own life. Mm. You, you and them 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 really and truly step up between them and my brother. Them just me, me can't even me, me can't even tell you. These are girls like growing up. Like I would go home and look on them. Remember bringing them from the hospital, and yeah. I would go home. This mm. is this is my ritual, you know. Mm. No matter what time you go home, you know, mm. I am at the door looking on them for between five and ten minutes. No matter how tired me is, <laughs> five to ten minutes while I'm sleep, and then me go on my bed. Mm. How long? How long this this go on? This, go, this continue for this happened for years, man. Yeah, like, yeah. For years until me and mom, me and the mom separate, but it just it wasn't after it wasn't it wasn't all we call it milk and cookies mm. you understand like a bitter drop in it and some seriously <laughs> and like a busy tea yeah. yeah you understand of course but mm -hmm. here what happened now is like like I tell you I like to listen mm. and I realized that you know the girls I'm have talent. Them love this, I support them, and they will have will start to have different type of conversations slowly but surely. So they are not just my daughters, them are my bridging, them are my parry, them are my advisor, them is my everything. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So they handle it like they would that like they would handle any company. Mm -hmm. Any company properly. Mm -hmm. And then make sure that yo, them don't move. They did not budge. All I saw was the strength personified. Them just present. <laughs> A, 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 a solidified front to the public. That's what I said. Yo, mm. they they weren't. All right. How holy pa people grow them? Mm. Mm -hmm. What I mean holy pa people? <laughs> they mean holy pa people. A village. We're talking mm. about mm. father, their mother, mm. cousins, aunties, mm -hmm. uncles, <laughs> grandparents. Mm -hmm. You can't show police in that too. <laughs> no, in a real life. Mm -hmm. You can't show brethren. Yeah. You can't show road link. You can't show one taxi man. Mm -hmm. You can't show people from country. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Extended relatives. Mm -hmm. You understand? Good friends, strangers. Mm -hmm. You understand? In the streets, yeah. people of my choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Them hell well rounded, man. <laughs> well rounded. Like I. That is straight from the point. I remember when I'm around when I'm 17, a man go up and say, Yo, girl, the daughter, they might get big enough, or you go work it out, they're not getting machine and man, them and Ray and blame me. I said, Me, me worry about any man of my people, them, just sorry for any man who take them up. <laughs> <laughs> because they, 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 they are built mm -hmm. like with a met with a with a with a with an unbreakable chassis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It no matter different. how it turn, mm -hmm. it nah been. Mm -hmm. You understand? <laughs> and them have that brain. You could tell just from how they handle this. You could tell. <laughs> they not raise them vice for nobody. Mm -hmm. They were very graceful with everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. How they disseminated the information. Yeah. I mean, and how they how they mm -hmm. took over my phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, transferred all the calls to them, and anybody who call them answer. Like mm -hmm. you would me the message your person. I said. I know one of them have it. I'm just hope I'm sure of it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <Not> sure of <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we know what's that going on. So, oh it, was a, it was a trip. Mm. It was an eye-opener. I'm not saying that my life drastically changed. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you this. There's a lot of things I'm not going to do anymore. Um... Alcohol. I say no one see no, you no, no, see, no one see no henny again. No one see even V one. Well, well, smelly. Well, to be, and I think I'm going to say to be. Mm. Put it to you this way: I am asking you as a friend. Mm -hmm. If you really love me as a brother and mm. anybody, and you sing with alcohol, box it out of me. And if you really love me, mm. Mm. you mm. won't. You 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 you're not gonna love me if you see me take that drink and put it to my head. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you're all, you're changing diet as well? Yeah, man, it had to be changed to 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 fit what is happening on the inside. Right. Mm. So I have to watch potassium level. Mm -hmm. Um my daughter's basically in dialogue with the doctors. Mm -hmm. So I like to give them charts. And there's things that we can look up to. Mm -hmm. We can look up. When I went to the hospital and I the man basically said, if I suppose I have four gallons of water in my body and I have a teaspoon in it. Wow. <laughs> 
I like that drinking binge that just suck out the whole yeah, like you know that you, you, yeah, you yeah. pull oxygen I, I and, yeah, yeah. Body, right? and then not to mention the mm-hmm. the, 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 the vomiting and the yeah. can't eat mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. just make it worse mm-hmm. so it's like me drinking a whole heap of water um, I think the last the last couple of days I would have said like a week um, one of the nurses introduced me to lime and it was lemon water and just said I must sip it mm-hmm and it would help with my liver. Mm. And then I started to get, then I started to get, I asked if I can treat in that beetroot juice. I'm saying, yeah, man, what it's sweetened with? And said, all right, no sugar, cool, fine. You have some Rasta man now from on a standby. Brother, <laughs> the man them sent on beetroot juice. Of course. Yeah, man. Passion and pine. Yes. June plum. Mm-hmm. Yo, it's like, they also contributed to me getting better yeah. basically no mm. ganja tea no no no, no. <laughs> no, no, no rasta no no no, no rasta mm. but but they the, the man in the say yo just they, they just make sure that i was getting healthy stuff to drink mm. and it was all sweet with cane and and these guys are like manasa people don't know about them but a lot of people don't know about them mm-hmm. Mm. you understand what i mean mm-hmm. I, I, I will make a post about the the, the, the rasta tomorrow and the other guy Real, 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 real. It tastes really good, and it is legitimately healthy. Some of the pan that mm. and a whole heap of water. Mm. Oh, okay. Like, like I think Catherine Peak sent on like give me like a that couple months worth of water. Oh, and mm. then Grace sent on a bag of things, mm-hmm. crocus bag of things with two mm-hmm. scandal. These are free plugs. I have no problem with. Oh, still I say yeah, <laughs> blessing. <laughs> Holy parties. Mm. And they link with my daughter mm. to find out um, what I can eat. So I mean, if I know them have things like no sadness or whatever, I'm like, mm. Mm. yeah, you're right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <good> with it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not happy with it. 